The city of Rochester is stepping up its efforts to improve diversity and inclusion within the city. And one way it plans on doing that is by creating a new city position. Fox 47's Conrad Bray got a one on one interview with Mayor Kim Norton about what it means for our community. Maddie, Mayor Norton says with the help of the CARES Act funding, whoever is hired for the new position can help with equity and inclusion for minority groups in the Med City. We want to target outreach into Black and Hispanic communities particularly, but we think this might be a really nice transition into the work that we're going to do. Norton says with the position, the city can better assess the needs of people from various countries and cultural backgrounds that migrate to Rochester. With immigrants, um, that have, have moved here and made Rochester their home and we want them to feel welcome. And so there are a lot of great organizations, but as a city, I think we really need to embrace this and, and make it something we are, we're really serious about. She also says Rochester is the first city in the country to participate in the Intercultural Cities Initiative. The program evaluates a city's diversity response. It is an assessment of our community when it comes to uh, cultural understanding and welcome and welcoming. Uh, do we have a welcoming environment? Are we culturally sensitive or not? It'll help establish areas of improvement and the results should be available in a month or two. Meanwhile, there's the more pressing concern of how the pandemic is affecting people of color in Rochester. When it surrounds COVID, we know that our uh, communities of color are impacted um, more harshly by the by the virus, but also um, have a harder time accessing the health care needs that they have, as well as making sure that our communities of color, particularly those whose English may not be the first language, um, know of all the resources that are out there and we can help connect them. Mayor Norton says the city is planning to fill the position before the year ends. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kamaria Bray, Fox 47 News.